Can I speak about something? I think there are some people who buy so much stuff to where it is cluttering their home. Some people may even have so many shoes, so many clothes, to where they may have only worn it once or not at all in some items. Why not give to the needy? Why not give those clothes or much of those clothes and shoes and stuff like that to the poor or to someone you may know that may need help? Yes, I think straight out giving money to some people may be a bad idea because I think some people may use your money for cigarettes and alcohol and all that mess like that, which I really dislike. Like that really gets on my nerves really bad. So, but what you could do, I guess, if you want to, what you probably should do is take a percentage out of your pay, out of your money, and use that for helping people you may know that may need. Like, if you know someone don't have nice shoes or decent shoes or decent clothes or whatever else like that, go out and buy them something you may think they may need, that you think they may need, right? Why continue to buy stuff you aren't really using? I was doing that too. Like, <laughs> in times past, and sometimes I do it now, but not as much now though. I used to buy, 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 buy. I had so much stuff. For what? If I die, where are those things going anyway? When I die, where is my money going anyway? To someone else, right? So since I don't know when I am going to die, why not give away, which I have done and I will still do, why not give away stuff I don't really use? Why not give a percentage out of my pay, which I do as well, to people that are in need, right? Like, what is the point in saving $100,000, $50,000, $200,000? and not give anyone anything. If you read the Bible, and I really encourage all of us to do it if you aren't, I believe the Bible speaks about charity so much, as in alms giving. I am not speaking about tithes because I believe we are not under tithes. I believe we are under um, giving in general, as in giving based upon the heart, not 10%. But if you want to give 10% to someone needy, good. What are you doing with your money anyway? Look now, I think if all of us had the mentality to give to someone that is in need, I believe there would be less poor people. And you may say, well, Kevin, I had to work hard for what I have 
And if someone wants something, they need to work for it as well. And I, in a sense, I do agree with that, but you can't exclude what the Bible say too. We don't want to be selfish. We don't want to be greedy, do we? In the Bible, if you read in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, I believe it constantly, straight out, and if not straight out, in the principle of you reap what you sow. Maybe some bad things are happening to us because we are selfish or we are self-absorbed. Look now, I believe in Matthew chapter 5, I don't know which verse it is, but I believe it says something like, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy or something. Look now, look, 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 look. I always need mercy. <laughs> I always need mercy. So why shouldn't I be merciful unto others? I am not saying you always have to give money. Maybe you can give your time. Maybe you can help someone cut their grass or do something for other people, right? If I am constantly, pretty much I am, if I am constantly asking God for mercy, Won't he look for me to be merciful unto others? How would I like, uh, how would it be like, am I saying that right? How would it look? I am selfish. I am caring about myself. And when I get into trouble, I am crying out to God. God, please help me. God, please help me. But I am not willing to help anyone. It is in my power to help others, but I am so selfish. I am so greedy to where I am not willing to help anyone, but I am crying out to God, looking unto other people to help me. How evil is that? How evil is that? You may have heard of the story of Lazarus and the rich man. To make a long story short, Lazarus, I think he would ask or look for food from the rich man like crumbs. I believe I am telling that right. But the rich man gave him nothing. It was in the power of the rich man to feed Lazarus, but he did not. So the rich man went to hell, right? So I assume he went to hell because of what? Greed. I believe it was because of greed. We don't want to be greedy. I am not saying you have to give everyone you see one dollar. I am not saying that. But do something for someone. You don't, I don't think you have to pass out money to everyone because in some cases, a person may need something else from you other than money. You know, Kevin, I read in the Bible, if you don't, if you don't work, you don't eat. But what about the other scriptures in the Bible that talks about giving? Are you going to exclude that?
we all need to give. For instance, myself, which I don't really want to say, but I was doing, you know, I believe I am constantly giving. I'm not saying I give to everyone, but what I am saying, I am constantly giving. And guess what? Yes, <laughs> bad things do happen to me, but also amazing things happens to me as well. What you earn, what you are given in a sense, I believe it is not only for you. Please understand what I am trying to say to you. If you plan on growing in Jesus Christ, you can't be selfish. You can't be greedy. I don't have the scriptures on giving on me now. I may post them, perhaps, I don't know. But I think it is very important to give. Don't be selfish. Excuse me. Then want other people to help you, but you aren't willing to help others. What type of mentality, like what type of mind frame is that? If you are going to be selfish, if you are going to be whatever like that, wouldn't it make sense for you to not ask God for anything? or ask anyone for anything, right? If you are going to be selfish. I hope this makes sense. So, and some people may say, Kevin, I don't have enough money to give. How is that possible? What are you doing with your money? Kevin, that is none of your business. Yes, I think it is my business. Because if you plan on growing in God, I think it is another person's business if you are seeking help. If you are making $5,000 a month, don't buy so much stuff to where you are spending $5,000 or more a month, right? Like, if you want to participate in the principle of giving and if you are making only five thousand dollars a month make sure your bills stay around three thousand a month or thirty two hundred or something like that right like you don't have to spend up to how much you make every month so if you are doing that cut back on your spending right don't just say that you don't have any money and you would give if you could. Cut back on your spending, right? I think many of us can do that, which I do. I could spend as much as I make, but what is the sense of that? I think so many people are trying to impress people that really don't care about you, that really probably don't even think much about you. So you are trying to look good in front of people who don't really take much mind of you. I could be wearing like expensive clothes and a whole bunch of shoes and jewelry around my neck and all that carnal stuff, which I don't think that is wrong. But who am I trying to impress? You see me in these, <laughs> these shirts, these cheap stuff right here. I am not really trying to impress anyone according to the way I dress. So let me stop here. God bless you.